Um, Paul, tell us about your team. We have a new Honda team this year. We previously run Kawasaki's. This year we're running the 400 Honda, the Lambs approved motorcycle. What's the class of racing you're in? In South Australia it's called Limited. So what we run against other bikes which don't normally form part of the mainstream road racing classes. Now Paul, you just haven't come to this. I've read your CV, you've raced against some legends. I have raced against a few people in my time, including probably about 10 world champions. Um, over the last 10 years, uh, I've ridden against all of the Australian world champions apart from Casey Stone. And I've also ridden against people like Mike Halewood and Jeremy Burgess who's currently working with Valentino Rossi. So uh, what brings you back to racing? I think you might have had a bit of a break there with a the health scare. I had a health scare about four years ago. We've got over that and I'm slowly working my way back into racing. And why are you doing that? Because I enjoy it. There is nothing better than racing. What do you love about it mostly? The enjoyment of being with other riders that are world class. Um, to be able to ride on the same track as the top five riders in Australia who would be the top five riders in the world. Where do we get to see you race? I'm going to race at Eastern Creek later this year and I'll be doing the AFX series which caters for the class of bike that I'm riding rather than the ASBK that I have previously ridden in, uh, on superbikes. And do you uh, have any sponsors you want to tell us about today? My current sponsor is Bill's Motorcycles um, that supplied the bike, but I also run a team called Sonics Team Honda, in which um, Sonics is an engineering company in South Australia, and they also sponsor some other racing classes. What do they make? They've got laser cutting machines and water jet, uh, water jet cutting machines, so that they, they make uh, anything that needs profiling um, and they also do general engineering such as buildings and things out of steel. That's very very interesting. What, uh, what did you learn from racing from those legends that say kids are today could pick up? Come off the brakes early and ride through the corners. What we found recently is that using that technique is better than the um, uh, trail break into a corner that most of the current riders are using. At a place like Honda, in um, Honda Corner at Phillip Island, trail braking costs you speed from Honda to Siberia. Speed you can get back by using the old come off the brakes and ride through the corner. What, but what about sort of, rather than technical stuff, what about sort of um, exp experiential stuff? Experiential, is that a word? It is, <laughs> experiential stuff. What well, things have you learned experience wise that are going to get you through the tough times? That I have learnt from other people or that I've learnt from myself? One of the things that I say to any of the riders that, that come into my team is that when you take your helmet off you've got to be smiling. At the end of the race other people uh, would be pleased to be doing what you're doing so show them that you had a good time by getting off the helmet and smiling taking the helmet off and smile. What's the best movie you've ever seen? Uh, it was out this week called Hurt Lock. Hurt Lock? I heard that's very good. It is, it's exceptionally good. Yeah, very good. What's your favourite colour? Red. Trying to put him off and he's not getting put off, which is good. Um, uh, what is your favourite motorcycle? My favourite motorcycle is a Kawasaki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, really? Which mm. one? I've ridden ZX6s and ZX10s. Ah, very good. Apart from the Honda, the Kawasaki's your favourite bike. I started racing on a Kawasaki back in 1975 on a HG750. Mm. I raced against Jeremy Burgess. Mm. He came up to me after the first practice session and said, who tunes your bike for you? And I said, I do. I can't understand where, he, where I went wrong to end up where I am compared to where he is. Uh, it's just okay. okay, we're going to wrap it up now, but just give us a summary of what we can expect this weekend. Hold. And, uh, yeah, just... We're going to wrap it up now, Paul, but just give us a summary of what we can expect coming up in your career, how we're going to find you, and what have we got to look for? 
we'll be riding the Honda 400 at the, the FX series, which starts next month at Wakefield Park. Uh, the series runs over five different race meetings at three different race tracks, and I think that by the end of the season, I can be as high as third place using the Bradbury principle of attrition. <laughs> and you've got a goal. Well, good luck in the future, and I hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Okay.